Thank you for joining us for this week's episode of Recipe Share, a program on AADL TV where we take a few minutes to talk about recipes from a featured category. Today's category is pickle cukes. I'm Beth, and I'm joined by Katie and Elizabeth to tell us about the recipes. So, Katie, tell us about your recipe. All right, I will. Uh, this recipe comes from tasteofhome.com. Uh, it is for Cuban sliders. And this is a very, very simple recipe, but I really like it a lot. So I'm happy to share it with you. Um, so like many slider recipes that I've seen, it starts out with a couple packages of Hawaiian sweet rolls um, that you slice horizontally. Uh, so you keep your tops connected and your bottoms connected. And then you put the bottoms in a greased baking pan. This recipe calls for two packages so you make um 24 of these sliders i have that for this because i wasn't making it for a ton of people but i could definitely see making this full batch at some point so i just had my one package of rolls and um then you layer it with uh thinly sliced jelly ham some slices of swiss cheese and then your dill pickle slices um, I've got a picture of when I put the pickles on. You can see I used about twice as many as the recipe called for because everybody I know loves pickles, especially on a sandwich like this. So I made sure that each sandwich had two pickles each rather than the one that the recipe called for. Um, and then you just uh, put your top half of the rolls on, cover it with some aluminum foil, pop it into the oven for 10 minutes. Oh. I skipped a step, so you've got to put your topping on, which is microwave butter, and then you just um, stir in some diced up onion and some Dijon mustard, and you drizzle it over top of the rolls before you cover them with aluminum foil. Then you pop them in the oven for about 10 minutes, uh, and then uncover them, put them in for another 5 to 10 minutes until the tops get nice and toasty brown. And you pull them out. You can serve them immediately hot. You can serve them warm. They are actually great leftovers if you happen to have any. Good luck with that. Uh, but this is something that I cannot wait to make for game day. Like when that season comes around, this is just going to be something that's just so easy to prep and pop in the oven and just have ready for a bunch of people. So I was really happy with this one. That was my thought exactly. I was like, yep, this is happening football season this year <laughs> for sure. And it's, it's, I love that's, I love how easy it is and how mm -hmm. it can feed a good number of people. So when you drizzle that delicious thing, is that over the top of the, have you already put the top half on? Is it over? Okay. So it kind of yep. goes on top of the top of bread. Yeah. The bread. Okay. Oh, Got yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Good question. Because I don't think I made that clear. Yeah. So it gets all like the onion and mustardy goodness all over the tops of the bread, and okay. it kind of crisps up so, up a little bit once you take the aluminum foil off. That sounds so good and so yeah, super simple, easy okay. and tasty, and yeah, whether it's game day or just a afternoon, you know. <laughs> That's true. Yep. Um. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, Elizabeth, tell us what you chose for pickled cukes. Yeah. Um, so I chose to make dill pickle tuna salad. Um, this is from Iowa Girl Eats. Um, I really like occasionally having tuna salad for lunch and I often will have tuna salad, but then have like four or five dill pickles on the side because I always think that it goes really well together, but I had not, um, ever for some reason thought about chopping up pickles and putting them in the tuna salad itself. I know that's a thing people do, but we, I've always kept them separate. So I found this recipe and I thought, sure, let's, let's give it a try. So it's really easy. Nothing surprising here. You take your can of tuna, you take however much mayo you want, um, a third of a cup of minced pickles, uh, two thinly sliced green onions, 
And then um, what I liked is a big pinch of chopped fresh dill and then salt and pepper. You toss it all together in a bowl and that's what you have. Um, and it was great. Uh, so this is interesting. I, um, that like, it didn't call specifically for dill pickles. So like you could, I suppose, use bread and butter pickles or whatever flavor you wanted. Um, and I feel like that would actually be good because there was, I felt like with the dill pickles and the fresh dill, that was just a little much. Um, so I feel like next time I might use bread and butter pickles, but also fresh dill just anyway, whatever, just depends how much you want that flavor, but it was really good. And, um, the green onions kind of cut the pickle flavor a little bit. And so that was a great addition as well. And, um, I don't think I'll do this all the time, but it was a great way to make tuna salad. And, um, I really liked it. Um, I usually put it on a piece of toasted bread with maybe some, uh, a slice of cheese and it's, it's good to go. So, um, yeah, this is, Super easy, but um, a nice twist on, on tuna salad and definitely um, a way to throw some pickles in there. So, yeah. That's so funny that you said that because the whole time you're talking, I'm like, this would be great on a tuna melt. Like, I've been wanting a tuna melt lately, and it, that's how I make them as open face with some cheese on top. And that just sounds amazing. I don't put pickles in my tuna salad either, so I'm going to try it now. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I, I do mm -hmm. often put, especially my favorite Topers pickles, um, mm -hmm. and, um, that's, or I will put dill relish, but I'm, I'm not a sweet pickle person. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's how I, sometimes we just make a base and then Kurt likes to put his sweet in and I'll put my dill in. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was um, good. I liked it. It goes well. I don't know why it goes well, but it does. So it just, yeah. Just does. works. Yep. Okay, okay, Beth. Well, I literally made pickled cukes. I mean, nice. I don't, I don't know what. Um, that's where I took it. And I, as I mentioned, I yeah, I don't like sweet pickles. I found um some quick pickles through a, a website, the Mediterranean Dish, and um, I have the recipe. And it also called for Persian cukes. And I got some, you know, basic garden ones in my CSA. So I was going to use those. Uh, so I sliced them, I seeded them and peeled them for the most part. Um, I've learned too, because uh, earlier in my life, I didn't like cucumbers. And what I, it's the seeds that give me, that make me burp. Um, and it's, so once I learned to remove seeds, it's made a difference. Uh, so I, I kind of had them in like half moon slices. Um, and then it also called for some garlic, green onion, and, uh, jalapeno and, um, and no sugar because I didn't want any sugar. So it's, um, uh, I used one and a half cups of, of, uh, regular vinegar and one and a quarter tablespoons of kosher salt and then there was some water in there um boil that up and then let it cool oh sorry it also called for mustard seeds um peppercorn a bay leaf i i did not have coriander seeds so i used some fennel seeds and dill seeds and anyway just uh boil that brine and let it cool and then I stuffed a jar with the uh, cukes, uh, some fresh dill, garlic, the jalapeno, and the yeah green onion, uh, which was unusual. Um, then poured the the um, brine in and let it sit overnight, and they came out crunchy. I've got a picture of my jar and my my dish. Um, it, you know, the, you can barely tell that there's jalapenos in there. It it was, it was, it's good. It was good with cottage cheese. Um, just a nice little side, uh, dish. And I was, I was pleased with it. That sounds great. Did you, so it, was it just meant to be sat overnight or could you have, yeah. would it, does it, okay. So oh, was, yeah, you, you could, um, leave it in there for you know months but okay okay I had thought I read that at least five hours but I must have 
looked at a different one. So I did taste them that evening and they they were good. Crunchy. Um, oh, that's something also with the cukes. They um have you uh put them on ice for like 20 minutes to help maintain the crunch. Oh so nice. once I sliced it, yeah. Um I thought that was interesting. So yeah. That is super interesting. And I'm also really excited to see your picture because I don't think that I've ever seen pickled cucumbers done when the seeds have been removed and when they've been peeled. Like, I feel like I've always only ever seen them intact. So I'm excited to see yeah. what that looks like and also uh, to taste that sometime. That's really interesting. Yeah, I was I was pleased with it because it was had that the tang and not the sweet. Um, and yeah, and I, I'm glad I, I, I didn't feel like going out and buying more cukes. That didn't make any sense. So it worked out. Do you think you'll do it again? Um, yeah, I probably will. Um, Ooh. heck I, I got more cucumbers. I could just throw, well, I don't know if that's technically how you do it. I was going to say I could just add more cukes, but that's not really how it works. Um, however, I, no, but there's no law against it. So. <laughs> um, and if there was, I could break it. But anyway, I'll take us out. And I've got to turn my paper over. Uh, so thank you for watching Recipe Share. Be sure to click the link below to look at the event page on AADL.org to find the recipes we talked about and share your own in the comments. Next time, join us next time when we will be sharing healthy apps. We look forward to seeing what you've been making. So thanks for sharing. Recipe share. Recipe share. Share a little recipe with recipe share.